How's everybody doing? Good evening to everybody. How's everybody doing? Good evening to everybody. How's everybody doing? I'm Oscar Blue for Border Network News at America's Voice. We are live, people. We are live right here at the port of entry of El Chaparral. My God, this port of entry, how much has suffered? How much has gone through? How much stories of suffering in this line where they're asked for asylum? And as you see back in the back of me, you will see a woman with two children that they are, they are their children. And you will see a man right there that they are running away from fear from Michoacan and Guerrero. And they are not asking for the asylum. They are asking for a place to stay right here in Tijuana so they can live and you know, restart their lives. Thank you everybody that has been wishing me a happy birthday. Thank you so much. God bless everybody for wishing me a happy birthday. Thank you so much. As you guys know, <laughs> last birthday, uh, last year, we were working at a mountain, bringing you broadcasts from what it was happening at the wall. <clears throat> and it was, you know, my, our celebration of our birthday. Today we're working, as everybody knows, we are for work, we are for news. Uh, thank you so much for everything. Now, I want to say something uh, really special uh, for Cindy Gomez Shemp. I believe that, uh, you know, uh, I wish you well, Cindy. Get well soon. Big heart to you. Uh, big hug to you. Get well soon, Cindy. You're a great champion. Uh, let's start. How's everybody doing? We are live right here at the border of Chaparral, as you can see. And let's talk about what has been happening. Yesterday, I did a live feed about the red alert on every port of entry in Mexico. It was a red alert that it was uh, <clears throat> that it was done on the port of entry in San Luis Rio Colorado. San Luis Rio Colorado is the port of entry of Sonora. Sonora is the state that collides with Arizona. So that specific port of entry in San Luis Rio Colorado, it was red. Uh, it was a, a red alert because of a speculation of four people. Uh, from Iran that they were walking around really suspiciously. There were four individuals and one woman. Specifically, they were talking about the dangers of the woman. The woman, they were saying that they were, she was wearing, uh, she was a possible uh, suicide with explosives. Uh, I cannot say the word, you guys know already the B word that is prohibited in a broadcast. So right now we are live right here to bring you a broadcast of our port of entry and to tell you how this port of entry is reacting right now, and it is uh, and it is managing themselves right now, and how the uh, security level has intensified not only on the on the port of entry of San Luis Rio Colorado, but also on the port of entry of Mexicali, that is the border to Calexico, California, and also on this port of entry that is Tijuana, that it collides and it, that it, that is uh, close to San Diego, California. Now, <clears throat> what happened with the red alert? Uh, apparently they closed the uh, the border in Arizona. They closed the border momentarily. They closed the border for a few uh, for a few moments, and then after that, uh, there was a red alert where they were uh, Department of Intelligence of Mexico soldiers, National Guard, guardian, and given these people, uh, you know, given the security that they need uh, in the port of entry in Mexico, they were working with. The United States officials. They were working closely with the United States Customs. They were working closely with the, the with the Border Patrol and also, you know, with the Department of Intelligence from the United States. Now, there's another question that everybody was asking: What about the four people from Iran that they got detained in Honduras, trying to cross illegally to Guatemala and from Guatemala to Mexico? As you guys know. The port of entry of Mexico, as we have gone through to Tapachula and we have gone to Chiapas a couple of times, is real easy to cross, people. It's real easy to cross from Guatemala to Mexico on a water raft, undocumented and unattended. Now, supposedly the National Guard is taking care of things in Tapachula, so this uh, red alert that it has been put also in the border of Tapachula 
they can be intensified and they can search and research of any individuals that they're coming radically to the border of Tapachula. These four individuals that they are from Iran, they were detained in Honduras and they are still detained in Honduras so they can be investigated on what were their intentions to cross to Guatemala and from Guatemala to Mexico, go to the city of Veracruz and investigate who was waiting for them in Veracruz and what was their intentions as they were moving up and their intentions to go to the United States. So all of this is a really big investigation right now as you know the problems that they are happening with the United States in Iran, with the United States in Iraq, and a caravan that is coming right now uh, through the south door of Mexico that is speculated for the 15th of January, that is in a few days, and we have, you know, <clears throat> we have information of the amount of people that they are gonna come on this new caravan. That is the caravan that is going to start in San Pedro Sula on the 15th, on the 16th, and on the 17th of January. This caravan that is coming on the 15th, 16th, and 17th of January is speculated. Right now, we got information between eight to 10,000 people. Eight to 10,000 people. That is the speculated number. Now, is Mexico prepared for uh to detain and to stop this caravan in the south door the our government and our president hasn't said anything yet about the security levels as we see right now the military right here the national guard arriving in the port and the port of entry as we have uh as we have known our president is for open borders he was the one that signed this international pact of immigration in uh, in around, you know, with 154 more countries. Now, what does this say? A lot of people are going to complain about our president and you have the right. I am against also my president that he's a socialist president. He wants open borders. So the thing is that a lot of Mexican citizens and people from Tapachula, like this man that is right there on the back of me, sitting down with a sweater, with a blue sweater, and that family right there that you see on the back of me, right there, that family is from Tapachula and they're running away because of the caravans. They're running away because of the caravans and the dangers of the caravans that they're coming. That man right there on the blue setter doesn't want to talk. He is a migrant from Mexico that he used to live in his own country, in our country of Tapachula, and he's running away because of the violence of the caravans. Unbelievable. So the violence of the caravans is making Mexicans in their own country to move out. That that is the unbelievable thing. And now these people are going to be relocated in some place over here in our city. They don't want to migrate. They don't want the asylum in the United States. These family, that woman over there that you see with her two children, and that man that you see sitting down right there, they are from Tapachula. And they're coming because of the caravan. And now he talks about also about a caravan that is coming on the 15th of January. Amazing, he doesn't wanna be on his own city and in a speculated number that he has confirmed also between eight and 10,000 people. Now, this is the problem, people. As we know, we don't know who's coming in and who's coming out. We don't know that. We are against the caravans, it's a disorganized, movement of migrants it is an evil and demonic movement from the united nations that risk lives of children and women but now with the difficulties and the things that they're happening with the war or speculated war that a lot of you know liberals are saying that is a war with the speculated problems between the united states and iran and between as the inami that's the, the the immigration uh immigration uh, officers right there working that is our border patrol let me see where they're going let me see where they're going i think we got something right here people they had gone into the port of entry uh, the that is the port of that is the the walkway for the port of entry the pedestrian port of entry right there on the top
something happens, I will be right back. So this is the problem. Now with the problems with they, that they have with Iran, the problem that they are happening with Iraq, we don't even know what is going on and what is happening in the South Dora Tapachula. And with this speculated caravan that right now that is coming between the 15,000, 15,000, uh, eight to 10,000 people on the 15th of January, we don't know if there is gonna come, if they are, are going to come from uh, from uh, the Middle East countries, uh, from you know Africa and from all parts of the world, as we have known that all these caravans now they're not only from Central America, they are from all around the world. So you have caravans that they're starting in San Pedro Sula because San Pedro Sula, Honduras just converted to a third world secure country. What does that mean? That everybody can migrate to that country and that everybody can migrate through Guatemala also that Guatemala became a third world secure country. And now Mexico has become a third world secure country, making it. It's unbelievable, Mexico, Mexico is the second most dangerous country in the world with more than 32,000 murders in the first year of this president, AMLO. So, we have a huge problem coming into our hands, people. We have a huge problem. This is time. This is the time. This is crunch time for the Department of the Border Patrol, the United States Customs, the National Guard in Mexico, the National Guard in the United States, and also the Border Patrol of Mexico to come together and to work together to stop this and to stop possibilities of people infiltrating and causing damage, not only to, uh, to, to the United States, but to our border to our border of Tijuana, to the border of San Luis Rio Colorado, to the border of, uh, of Nuevo Leon, to the border of Coahuila, to the border of Mexicali, as they have a red alert. And citizens of Mexico are really concerned about these individuals that they're walking around in San Luis Rio Colorado in Algodones, that they are supposedly by Iran, and the woman was wearing a vest, wear explosives, that explosives that you guys mostly know them as suicide be uh you guys know the word so mexicans now are really concerned about the security of the citizens this is why these cities from mexicali from algodones and from arizona and from uh san luis rio colorado a lot of these mexicans and a lot of these mexican citizens they are concerned for their lives because we don't know what these people people are capable of. We don't know what these people are capable of, and we don't know what the situation may be or may not be if they go around. So let me show you right now. There's a lot of movement right here. It's a Saturday. Uh, you know, God bless everybody that is showing me love for my uh, uh, for my birthday. Thank you so much. I decided to work as you know as we are for work, and I think that. Uh, I think that it's really important that we keep right now the news coming as there's a lot of movement right now on every border and there needs to be security and we need to work together to stop this. Unfortunately, uh, you know, this is the problem with the government of Mexico is not the Mexican people, is the problem with the government of Mexico. That is the problem people, it's not the people. As you see, there's a lot of us that we are concerned and we are against these massive movements of caravans that they're coming in through our country but it's not into our decision. It's down to the decision of the government. And as you guys know, our government is extremely corrupt. Now, let me go around right now and show you how the activity is. And the security levels right now on top, you will see a National Guard officer right there. You'll see a National Guard officer on top, uh, practically uh, putting the security of the people on the pedestrian walkway to the United States. It's a really busy day as it's a Saturday, you will see another another right here uh, automobiles from the military you see one two three four hummers and you will see a military right there on top this has been happening for a little while but the intensity of the security has been better because of these uh threats that they're going around and these possibilities of these people uh doing all this stuff in the borders, threatening people, scaring people, as we don't know what their intentions are in the cap 
and the capabilities that these people are going to do. So as we are watching right now, security levels has intensified on the port of entry, on the pedestrian port of entry. Let's walk, let's walk a little bit as you see cab drivers right here doing their normal job. <clears throat> Let us walk a little bit. If the broadcast gets interrupted or it gets blurred a little bit, it's because of the signal that uh, it gets a little bit blurred right now. So let's just walk a little bit over here. This is where, uh, what is that? Is, this is where practically, you know, the asylum seekers are standing every day. Right here is they're standing every day, and they have put another line of uh, right here. They put a barrier on this side. Let me just, uh, you know, there's police officers all around coming back and forth. As you see a police unit right there, over there, all the way to the corner. It's a police unit right here. So the security levels have intensified, but they're trying to make it look, and they're trying to make people think that everything is okay so people can go on and doing their normal activities in their lives. Look, there's a police officer right there, you know, taxi drivers doing their normal activity. We got a really busy day over here. You guys are watching right here. This is the pedestrian entrance to the United States. But the most important thing is over here. The most important thing is over here, walking straight over here. And through this part, this is the most important part right here. That that is the pedestrian walkway to the United States and security has intensified because of the threats that have been happening in Arizona that with the border of, of San Luis Rio Colorado and also uh, in Mexicali, you know, close to the border of Calexico, California. And now right here in Tijuana, they're trying to make it as normal as possible, you know, go as normal as possible, but the level of security has intensified. How is this, how this affects the economy and how this affects uh, the entrance to the United States. Now, let me change the camera right here. It affects enormously. You guys don't even know. Why? Because the security uh, <clears throat> inspections, when it is a vehicle line, the vehicle entrance over here in the vehicle port of entry, it goes much slower. So a normal typical citizen, if he makes one hour on vehicle on a line to cross to the United States, now that the security is, the security has intensified by the United States Customs, it's going to be doubled. It is exactly the same that the security, the security that happened with 9/11. When 9/11 happened, the security intensified more than 100 percent in the ports of entry. It affected the economy. It affected everything between two borders. Why? Because a lot of people don't want to cross because of the long lines that the United States Customs are making because of their intensified search. So it affects completely and enormously. Well, now these threats that are happening, we need to understand. We need to understand that there is a crisis at the borders. There is a crisis at the borders, a security crisis. Not only, not only but what is happening right now and these threats by uh, closing the border because of, of a possible red alert of somebody carrying a, uh, an explosive vest that they are speculated that they're from Iran. Not only because of that, you guys have seen how I've been broadcasting about cartel activity and the organized crime that has been happening massively in our borders. And they've been attacking also United States citizens in our country of Mexico. And the cartel activity has grown so the violence and the delinquency and every border needs to be addressed, not only by the country of Mexico and our government, but also countries around the world, they need to pressure our president to intensify our security. Not only that, you bring another caravan on the 15th of January, for God's sake, what are these four fantastic socialist women, Veronica Escobar, Ilhan Omar, Rashida Tlaib, and Alexandria Ocasio, what are these women thinking? 
what are these women thinking saying that there is no crisis at the border that there is no that there's everything is that it's okay there's no there's no insecurity when we just saw yesterday we just saw yesterday that the port of entry from San Luis Rio Colorado to Arizona was closed for different situations of security of threats of a possible suicide person with explosives where is the head of these people how in the hell they're thinking what the hell they're thinking that there's no insecurity in the borders the insecurity level and that it's not only about a humanitarian caravan it's also about the illegal and the irregular activity with cartel activity and the massive drug trafficking human trafficking gun trafficking from both countries and now we have a humongous problem with the people from Iran that they're speculating that they are coming and four of them got detained in Honduras and now you got another one speculated over here in San Luis Rio Colorado there were four, ma four males and one female that they were planning a uh, speculated attack so this is a really stress level people it's a time for us to secure our borders it's time for us to secure our countries as we are starting this 2020 uh, with a lot of problems but if we keep our faith in God if we keep our faith that everything is going to be great and that we keep our faith that everything is going to be okay and we keep our faith that God is on our side and the right is always going to be right we can do it we can do it we need to stand together and protect our borders how's everybody doing i'm oscar blue for border network news and america's voice good evening to everybody we're live in tijuana baja california mexico bringing you a live broadcast on how the borders are right now and how the level of security has intensified because of the threats that they happened yesterday of a possible person carrying an explosive best uh suicide explosive best uh Apparently, this person was from Iran, and there was other four males in San Luis Rio Colorado with her. God bless everybody. Follow my partner, Conservative Anthony, as he is running for Congress, the District 16 of El Paso. Thank you so much for everybody, for everybody's attention. As we are recording right now, this is really sad. You see this family right here on the back? That man right there. That man right there with a the blue, uh, with a blue uh, sweater. They're running away from the caravan and there he's from Tapachula and he's from Mexico and he's running away from the caravan. Amazing, Mexicans running away from the caravan. He's old, he's an old man. He's almost, almost 60 years old. And you got a woman right there with two children that they're running away from the caravan. They're not running away from the violence of Mexico. They're running away from the caravan for God's sakes. So for all these, Democrats, Congresswoman, that they're saying and pushing their open borders agenda, you are completely, with your politics and your agenda, you are affecting completely directly us Mexican citizens. You're affecting directly our lives. Stop, stop your open border agenda. Stop. You don't know the complications that this is happening. You don't know the complications that you guys are provoking. You don't know the complications that you are provoking with lives of Mexicans. Opening your border agenda. Amazing, amazing. Good evening to everybody. It's a beautiful day in the neighborhood, a beautiful day for a neighbor, like Mr. Rogers says. <laughs> Wanna say uh, hi to a candidate from District 28 of Texas, Sandra Lee Witten. Follow Sandra Lee Witten as she is running for Congress in District 28 of Texas. Follow her. You guys need young blood, young people. You guys need young people. Young people in Congress. That's what the United States needs. Young people, hungry people. They want to do things right. They want to fight for their country. And they want to get all these socialist Congress people that they are hurting not only their country, but they're hurting other country like my country it's amazing it's amazing what these people they, they, they just want to put their socialist agenda follow sandra lee witness she's running for congress in district 28 of texas and also follow my partner conservative anthony as he's running for congress in district 16 of el paso god bless you all 
God bless you all. Thank you for all your birthday wishes. Thank you so much. God bless you. Uh, we're 39 today. <laughs> we're close to 40, man. We're close to 40. It's okay. I feel good. I feel like, uh, you know, age, age in a way, uh, like, my, uh, like my grandmother used to say, age is just a number, but age comes with life experience. So it's beautiful. It's beautiful. Uh, thank you so much for all your birthday wishes and for all your beautiful words that you guys have been sending me. It's, all, it's my birthday. It's Saturday and we're working. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. God bless everybody. We're about to sign off. Uh, if, if somebody has a really short question, I can answer it real quick. Or if somebody has a doubt or somebody wants to uh, make a comment, I'll gladly address it and I'll gladly put attention to it. Uh, so <clears throat> I'm right here for your questions and I'm right here for to give you guys, uh, you know, some answers. God bless everybody. Happy birthday. Thank you so much. Uh, Shannon uh, Flanagan, thank you so much. Thank you so much. Uh, Jenny Lawrence, thank you so much, Mr. Craig. Thank you. God bless you. Follow my page at uh, Oscar Blue Public Figure. Also, you can follow me at YouTube as Oscar Blue. Also, you can follow me at Twitter as Oscar Blue Border Network News. Thank you so much. If people want to contribute and donate to my work, there's my PayPal on the bottom. Thank you so much for donating and contributing to my work. God bless you all. Thank you so much, Mr. James Hale. Thank you so much. God bless you. Ms. Jackie G.G. Dawson. Thank you so much. God bless you also. Hello to Ma Mary Zagara from Brooklyn. Linda Lacasi, I wish we had some answers for you, Oscar Blue. God bless you also. Carla, happy birthday. Thank you so much. Teresa Callis, great reporting. Thank you so much, Ms. Teresa. Uh, saludos to Paula Takaji from Tucson. Uh, <clears throat> Ryan Worth, go take your family and have a good day. Yeah, that's what we're, we're about to do later on tonight. Thank you so much, Gabe Quate. Uh, Lisa Dresden, Blue, make sure you post your videos on Twitter so I can prom promote you. Thank you so much, Ms. Lisa. Kelly Bass Patchett, do you have an article about Iran working with a... Uh, no, I don't have an article. <clears throat> Audrey Merrill Golden, uh, happy birthday, Oscar. But I have information, Kelly Beth Badgett. Uh, Carol Addison, not particularly from that, but I have information. Alex Martinez, Anthony Aguero, yes. Wanda Adams, thank you, Oscar, keeping us informed, thank you. Thank you so much, Ms. Lisa Kelly. Thank you so much, Ms. Bay Mendoza. Joel de la Cruz, saludos desde Sacramento, California. Un abrazo, viva México, amigo. Stella Bradshaw, thank you. Porfirio Tijera, hello from Mission, Texas. Saludos hasta Mission, Texas. You know, sometimes they send me a lot of information and they send me a lot of links. And the source is not only correct. For me to trust the source, I need to talk to the source when it's really huge information. And for me to trust the source, I really need to investigate what they're talking about. So if I get some information that I really, I don't believe that is trustworthy, I will not talk about it. It's because we are for the truth. Where's the caravan entering? It's not moving yet. It will move on the 15th of January and it will be entering Guatemala. And then from Guatemala, uh, it will be entering Mexico. That's what they're speculating. <clears throat> Thank you so much, Ms. Sue House. God bless everybody. We're about to leave. Have a beautiful Saturday. Thank you so much, everybody, for being on this live broadcast with me. God bless everyone. Thank you for your uh, for your best uh, birthday wishes. Uh, thank you so much. Have a great evening. Stay safe and always remember peace and love, everybody, because always your country is first. Stay safe. <laughs>